Like, what do you need to look at during this Mercury retrograde, during this fall season, the season of organization, of protecting your boundaries, of establishing your boundaries, sort of like the Queen of Swords. Hi, beautiful ones. It's Viv here. Okay, so let's talk about Mercury retrograde, the one that we are currently in. Mercury is the planet that governs communication, travel, and technology, and many other things. But really communication, communication, okay? And so the whole idea in the West is that this planet is just, you know, just creates havoc during its retrograde. Now, many astrologers disagree with that. And of course, it depends on specifically your chart and where the retrograde, like what it's happening in and all of that. I actually find that most retrogrades <laughs> like do me very very well okay maybe I'm weird that way let me know in the comments if you also so it depends don't believe and expect because I've seen people create it and again let me know if you've seen that people who create their life just goes you know to just complete hell when they're like oh Mercury's retrograde oh this happened and then this happened and I really believe our energy our personal energy as a human being is incredibly powerful. So I just find it interesting that these folks, like stuff falls apart when they expect it's gonna fall apart during this time period. You, your energy is more powerful than that. If it always is happening, then something's going on more with you than with Mercury, all right? Because there should be some Mercury retrogrades that are fabulous for you. This season is linked with metal in the system that I am sharing with you. And metal has very much to do, think of a knife, like it's very sharp, like you're separating meat from the bone. You're separating what's unwanted and you're categorizing, this is for this, this is for that. It's about clarity, just like in tarot, the sword uh, suite, right? Which is air. The metal, metal in the fall very much has to do with the lungs and the large intestine. Let me know if you want me to do a video about the meridians. I actually, actually I have one that I will connect with this video. Let's go into the message for you for this Mercury retrograde that starts in September 2021. Okay, and this is the last Mercury retrograde of this year turn inside turn within and that is literally what the energy of fall is about so i'm saying this is a very powerful time for you astrologically as well as in the se seasonality to really look at what does not serve you anymore look at what you need to get rid of or want to get rid of and look at what does serve you all right so i'm going to pull a card So let's start with Aries. What to be aware of in this Mercury retrograde. Take a breath in with me, Aries. And again, this is very general. If you'd like a more personal reading on something that you're working to achieve and accomplish, then do give me a call. Wow. So for Aries folks, this focus on your triumphs and there's a sense that you will triumph uh, during this retrograde season, something that you have done, a creative endeavor project will, you'll be recognized for it. There'll be some sort of recognition for you and look at how, because this is a retrograde and I want to take it inwardly, look at how do you deal with recognition? Okay. So you see, we're going to talk about the outer effect and sort of the inner effect, uh, depending on the card, but here, I'm getting that. How do you deal with accolades, with praise, um, with triumph? And are there any fears about it? What are your, your thoughts about being, um, being praised, being recognized? So this, I would say, is that for Aries folks, there, this is the time to focus on um, receiving praise and, and drinking it in with this card knowing that you're i'm also getting knowing that you're good enough knowing that you are deserving of uh perhaps it's a raise or something like that you're deserving of that promotion or that raise you're de deserving of what you desire okay so for aries folks during this mercury retrograde just 
really you might want to even do some journaling with this card okay with the six of wands with the triumph card with the praise card you definitely are going to be seen you're going to be recognized you're going to um, be be held up as an example in some way so i'm going to hang on with me i'm going to light some uh, yerba santa and um I had some before and I would invite you to as well just maybe light some incense light some sage so let me all right okay and I had previously saged myself but I really love it Hope, hopefully it'll stay on for a little bit okay so that was Aries oh Go on to Taurus. So journal with these cards during this retrograde. Journal, see, and tune into your own intuition. Okay, so we're going on to Taurus. I'm shuffling again. Again, I'm not editing this video, and there's going to be one edit at the beginning. <laughs> I think I coughed or something. I'm going to take it out, but you're going to have to stay with me while I shuffle Taurus for this Mercury retrograde what to focus on okay all right interesting so for Taurus connecting with friends actually let me just check that this is reading well on the camera connecting with friends and celebrations celebrations connecting with friends spending time with close friends and also focusing on the harvest Right. So what does that mean in modern times? Maybe there's a bonus or maybe there's a vacation that you are up to to take, or it could even just simply be a party, a celebration. It's important for you to take that time during the Mercury retrograde, connect with your friends and share a glass of, of wine or whatever you know, depending on your situation, but connect with people, celebrate, find people of like mind. And let me just tune into this card. Rest. You may be coming off of a busy season for some of you. And so take time to celebrate. Late summer into fall, especially late summer, was really the time to celebrate. There were other times of year, of course, but this idea of having a bountiful harvest, of um, being able to reap what you have sown. So here, you know, perhaps, as I said, there's some sort of bonus or there could be a birthday celebration, something that brings you together with friends, with family, perhaps especially coming out of COVID. If you can find, yeah, if you can find a way and a time to connect with loved ones, uh, whether that is family or simply uh, friends, may even, yeah, that's gonna be very, very important. Let's go on with Gemini during this Mercury retrograde. Remember, journey with the card, focus on the card, see what symbols jump out at you as I hold it up, you know, just note it and do spend some time with it. So Gemini, let's see. So shuffling for Gemini. Gemini folks, during this Mercury retrograde, how can you best use this time? Wow. It's funny, so far all the cards have come up upright. So for some of you Gemini, there's gonna be a focus on family but legacy uh, issues of, uh, this is a very positive card. There is some sense that during this retrograde, you will either be directly creating or be involved in ideas around legacy, around financial abundance that has very much to do with family legacy. So things like family business, um, especially I'm getting where maybe you're more involved with a family business, maybe the family business is sold and you, you, you know, thus get a lot of money. Maybe there's an inheritance um, that is distributed. Um, it could just be that maybe you hit a certain age and monies that are 
were left for you are distributed. So a beautiful card here of abundance and abundance very much linked with family and uh, a solid sense of um, just legacy. So the 10 of pentacles. So yeah, journey with this card, um, path work, some people call it, just sort of see what symbols jump out for you with this but this is really really a positive card for financial and so gemini's look at you know how do you feel about this i would say it's it's positive for you because the card is upright so gemini folks potential there for coming into some money or even understanding how to create that legacy so for example another way this could play out maybe you there's an investment um, that you decide to do Again, I'm not giving financial advice. So don't don't actually do that. Don't do certain types of uh, you know health advice and things like that. But you may have an opportunity to see how you can begin to create like um, a foundation of wealth for your family. Okay, so it may be that you start that that legacy. Really fascinating. Let's go on to, we finished Gemini, Cancer, Cancer folks here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do they need to know, Cancer? Um, just during this Mercury retrograde period, how is the time best spent? Hmm. here we go all right this is actually a good card because it's upside down so for cancer folks during the mercury retrograde i got the five of wands and reversed so it's actually i would say more positive reversed because there has there have been some sort of squabbles difficulties misunderstandings not serious ones and typically these type of uh, of issues don't last long and they're not it's not like super contentious like it's not like a horrible divorce that's dragging on for years like you know like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie or something it's not like that uh, and you got it reversed so I would say there's an ending of some sort of um, misunderstanding conflict you know it's something that wasn't a huge huge problem but it there are two aspects to this you need to you could look inside again internally and and try to understand what was the cause of this disharmony it could be parent child uh disagreement about studies or what what the kids would want to do maybe in college what they want to study how they want to live their life it uh you know it feels familial to me for for you um re with relationships that there was some sort of uh misunderstanding as i said just seeing not seeing things eye to eye variety of opinions everybody expressing their opinion and um that appears to be waning during the retrograde okay and i really want to break the cards in between each person you know each sign so let me just really really shuffle here let me just really shuffle well. Let me just really shuffle well, and we'll continue on. So, ooh, we're up to Leo already. Leo, folks, during this Mercury retrograde, starting September, September 2021, what do you need to know during this retrograde? What to be aware of? I'm shuffling and just tuning into Leo's, Leo's. What do they need to know and be aware of during this time? What issues might come up? What to be aware of? Mm. Okay. I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled. Wow. Card I got before, but it came out reversed. So for Leos, they are looking at their money. They're looking at how can they build more wealth and they're talking big wealth. There may be an issue around inheritance, around um, 
family business, around um, ways that you could be getting a lump sum of money and there may be some sort of slow down or hold on that issue, on the money coming through. For instance, expecting a large sum of money and then it, there's a hold up. There's some maybe a legal uh, issue with it. It may be a delay, okay? So this card of legacy, comfort, maybe trying to, could be something in the, with this card, like trying to sell a home that is like a pretty luxurious home and having trouble getting the price you want for it. Um, so Leo's, but Leo's with the strong, <laughs> With the strong ego strength, you should be fine, right? Uh, yeah, be aware of loss of, of money, loss of uh, investments, I would say, more than just income, because again, the sense of something that's built over a long time, family money, so I'm getting investments. So for Leos, this is an issue. And look at how you're investing your money. Look at perhaps what you're, um, how you are dealing with uh, funds that have to do with children and parents and grandparents and not just yourself, but money that you're really, um, or it could be like um, a foundation, for example. You know, maybe you were gonna donate money or something and there's an issue with that that you need to maybe look at. Okay, there, there are many ways that could play out, Leos. Okay, let me just clear the deck again. We're up to Virgos, beautiful Virgos. Though actually, you know, I suppose in terms of astrological, there are themes, of course, right? And so maybe not surprising to get uh, the same issue come up for different signs. So we're up to Virgo. During the Mercury retrograde that started September 2021, what do you, you need to know, Virgo? What is the theme for you to focus on? Virgo, folks. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Virgos. All right. Got a major arcana card. So this is an important issue in your life okay let me just check that this is showing well on the screen okay got the justice card so for virgos there is an issue of right and wrong a judgment it can be very literal maybe a legal judgment comes down i would say then in your favor leo during this time okay Thoughts of balance and karmic, karmic justice, fairness, issues around fairness and balance and neutrality. This is an interesting, it's an interesting card to, to get clarity, weighing your options very much. Also, if we take it more internal weighing right and wrong, not being swayed easily, not being swayed by emotion, but more using your logic, fairness, issues of, um, I don't mean the word issues, but more, um, not even concepts, but, but kind of the word concepts, fairness and balance and equanimity, equanimity in terms of any decision making, I would say, and what is right for, what is right for all involved in the situation, okay? So not being overly emotional, coming at it more from a rational perspective, from being very fair to all in whatever issue you're facing. That's gonna be very, very important. And as I said, if those of you, if there is a legal matter or you're waiting for a judgment, this would um, say that it's positive and it's outcome for those Virgos who are in that situation. Virgo, good luck. It's funny now we're up to Libra. <laughs> Libra, which has to do with the scales. 
again, I'm coming at this from what the tarot says. I'm not an astrologer, just looking at the themes that spirit is sharing, the themes to be, um, be aware of, okay? more Yerba Santa. So I'm lighting, I'm lighting. Okay, trying to keep my Yerba Santa. All right, Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. Um. Again, pick it as a theme. Take that one card and really dive in. Wow, the High Priestess. So Libra folks, and just I'm thinking of the little bit that I know of Libra from the astrological side. It makes sense. Libra, the high priestess, you're being told to one, either embody the high priestess yourself. How can you spend time developing your intuition, tapping into secrets, tapping into mysteries during this Mercury retrograde? And that is just perfect for a retrograde and um, again just thinking of what I know about Libra it makes sense with the moon right she doesn't share what she knows there's mystery to her things are veiled things are hidden but she's able to see behind the veil as the high priestess very powerful card, very much about tapping into that divine feminine, becoming that seer in your own life. Tapping into your inner wisdom, meditating at night, working with moon cycles, working with the moon. Maybe there's a new mantra or a new practice for you you to do maybe there is some reading of some esoteric work I'm getting for some of you maybe it's learning more about crystals maybe it's learning more about astrology for some of you diving into your studies for some of you maybe diving into magical studies maybe it's diving into herbs and cycles of the planet so yes, for Libra, a time to really um, be tapped into your intuition in a powerful, powerful way. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I feel like Scorpios get a bad rap sometimes. Not for me, but sometimes they get a bad rap. So Scorpios, what do you need to know for this Mercury retrograde? What is the theme for you? What is the theme for you to look into? I'm going from the end again. Ah, Scorpio. All right. Two of Pentacles. So for Scorpios, really looking at how you're earning your money. Unlike the Ten of Pentacles, which was large sums of money and family inheritance legacy, this is about more your day-to-day. -day. Can you balance multiple, multiple interests, typically money, typically ways of earning can you keep that moving joyfully uh can you be be balanced while dealing with money inflow money outflow okay is that possible for you to just stay in flow not to get bothered but just know that you may have to do multiple things multiple things and you're moving there's a lot of movement with this card so there may be a surge of money 
then it may dip a little bit. But if you can just keep that, I'm looking also at that infinity symbol, right? If you can just keep aware and trust spirit that you're provided for, even as you keep moving, it's, a, it's definitely a dynamic card. It's a card, I would say, of a little bit of hustle. So um, even though it's a retrograde, you may be uh, working on your two jobs. You know, you may be, uh, or more, just to keep it going, just to keep it going. So keep your feet moving, keep your hands moving, stay engaged. I'm also getting crafts potentially, hand, hand work of some sort, working, just working with your hands and just keeping, keeping that during the, during the retrograde. So for you, it's not uh, stillness and introspection. Okay, Sagittarius. Again, these are general. If you would like a personalized reading that lasts for up to, I usually look within and tune into three months, a three month cycle if you're trying to build, to create, to manifest, okay? Then do book an appointment with me to get your own personalized reading. My readings are very much too about how you can manifest. There, nothing is set in stone. So instead of these like fatalistic, uh, this is determined, that is not, that is not the approach I take because I believe that reality is odds and, and, and chance and what's going to happen is always in flux and it's always moving and shifting and that we play a big part in how that move and how that flux happens. Okay, does that make sense? So, Sagittarius, what do you need to know during this period of Mercury retrograde? What would be helpful? Okay, all right, so I think this is first, it, it's not the first upside down card. I think it's the second one, but it's interesting. That's not horrible, but it is a card of examining what would make you happy, looking at family life. So this could be if you're in relationship and have your own family, husband, wife, kids, partner, or looking at your family of origin. There's some sense of you're either very close to achieving that right to that dream of this beautiful family life really just just joy just just joy on the life you know practical emotional level everything just in place relationships joyful but the card was pull reverse so i also read this as um internally internally examining what would be this for you? What would create this sort of, I feel like, you know, they're trumpets and, and just that joy and bliss. What do you want in a relationship? What are your thoughts on marriage? Do you believe in it? Is it for you? Is this what's missing in your life? Is the relationship that you have now the one? Does it just need a little tweaking? Does it need some support? If this is about your family of origin, what does that, what does that mean? Are you realizing, looking back at your family of origin and therapy and realizing what the issues were? But this card is not, it's just never read as a hugely negative, even upside down. It's just really examining what would make your heart and your spirit happy. So it's even though it's upside down it's not um terribly negative at all it's more about how to create it how to maintain it your dreams your ideals about this sort of quintessential family and what what does family mean to you so let's continue on remember Take the card that I pulled and just maybe put it on your altar and journal with it. You could put it and try to incubate a dream. Capricorn. Capricorn is next. And then we have Aquarius and Pisces. So Capricorn. Capricorn. 
Capricorn. Oh, what do you need to know during the this retrograde period for Capricorns? Mm. Okay, Capricorns, pretty clear. Ladies and any men watching your feminine side, you are very likely uh, trying to do too much. This is Queen of Wands, right? And I pulled it upside down. So what can you cut back? And this is very much, again, this is different than like the High Priestess. This isn't going inwardly in that way of intuition. It's like looking at your practical things. Do you have too many uh, irons in the fire? Is that, yeah, is that how they say that phrase? Too many irons in the fire. It's an old phrase, okay? You're a very capable woman, but take this time to really decide, again, what you need to pare down. There's a sense you have too many projects going on. Uh, it could be crafts, it could be volunteering, it could be uh, work, and then you volunteered for something else and you're gonna spearhead a project. And it's just all too much, even though you're very capable in your feminine, you're very, very capable and you are creative and you're a doer. You like to get things done, you like to be moving right? Not to be sitting idly, but there's some sense that you need to use this Mercury retrograde to check if you haven't spread yourself too thin. Yeah. Okay. You're not really resting well on your throne. You're being thrown about too much fire. So you could be dissipating your energy, spreading your energy out so that rather than creating a big bonfire, there are all these little sort of smoldering fires, okay? So you need to kind of take back your power and I would think about what can you eliminate? What can you eliminate so that you can be more effective, Sagittarius? Let's go on, Capri That was Capricorn, that was Capricorn, and that was Capricorn. So we've got two more. We've got Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. 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 Okay. What do you need to know? During this retrograde cycle, it's a very specific time of year. Wow. So Aquarius. Interestingly, during the retrograde, it seems like similar to the card, uh, the triumph card, this is like, it's time to put yourself out there. Um, this one has the quality of self putting yourself out there, like get out there, be seen, um, spread your message, spread your love, spread your light. This could also, of course, be a trip to a warm place, but there's a real sense that during this retrograde, you feel completely, you feel happy, you feel in your element. You feel just <clears throat> life, you're just enjoying life. Again, I'm getting for some of you, it might be a vacation, just a getaway. Um, on a practical level, it can mean putting yourself out there, your ideas at work. If you're self-employed, putting your ideas out on social media, sharing video, audio, your talents, your gifts, putting it out into the world unabashedly. Don't be scared of judgment. Be like this child, innocent, joyful, and, and the energy is with you for this. So, and this is upright. So it seems like during the Mercury retrograde, there will be some sense again this can also very much be about recognition aquarius um yeah share your your thoughts your beliefs your ideals your joy very much about your joy what excites you put that out to the world and the reception you almost won't care what the reception is because you're you're you'll be so in your element okay so that is a really beautiful card this is i mean this is arguably the best card in the tarot for Aquarians. All right, so sit with this card, put it on your altar. How do I need to shine? How can I shine? My light, my warmth, how can I put that out into the world? All right, and how do you feel about that as well? Okay, perfect. All right, 
And let's go on. Interesting. Last, last, last. But not least, not least important. Okay, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know during this Mercury retrograde? The shift, planetary shift during this time. Oh. Take a breath in with me. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Another amazing card. This card is very much about timing and that the winds of change are behind you. The support is behind you. So if you've been wondering if it's time to act, this card for some of you, right? that telling you that the time is right, right? The wheel of fortune goes up, it goes down, but right now fortunes are rising. So this can mean, um, it could be outside news of your good fortune, right? An opportunity coming up. But it is very much, the idea is very much to do with timing. So look at dates, look at, Look at plans. Um, is it, are you ready to act? What do you need to do to be ready to act? So perhaps look at the retrograde. You may not take action during the actual retrograde, right? As we know, that's often, don't do new things. Um, again, it depends on your sign. It depends on that particular retrograde. But here you're being told that this is a go ahead. There's definitely a timing and has a positive surge behind it. So I would say look at, during this Mercury retrograde, look at your plans um, and just see and figure out the timings. And is it the right time to act now? Or is it, you can see it coming and so uh, prepare for it. So prepare for uh, positive positive this positive surge it could be for instance an upsurge in business right as we're going we're going to be going soon in towards the holidays what is this upsurge what is what are you working on where you've been wondering if you should go ahead with this wheel of fortune card it is uh, very positive for moving ahead again with awareness sorry guys the the uh, video froze there at the end, but I will also put a link below to a mantra that you may want to work with uh, during the retrograde or uh, for the benefits it can provide. And it's on another channel. I will put that link though below. Here are some other videos that are related to enjoy.